Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Legion Reacts episode number 24.5. That's right, 24 and a half. I'm doing a special uh, video here real quick because um, this is something that uh, I think is very important, something to me that's actually quite, sh I guess, maybe a little shocking. Um, it's the, the, the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie comes out this weekend, and um, there, when the first trailer came out, a lot of fans were unhappy, um, thought that Sonic didn't really look like their beloved character, like going, it just looked really strange, really off. And I'll admit it looked really weird to me as well. I do like the franchise. I did grow up playing it. Um, would I say I'm like a mega fan? No, but I, I do want to go see it. Well, the studio responded and they redid the character and I thought that was great. It shows that people... And Hollywood are capable of listening to what fans want because ultimately they're the ones who are watching your movies. They're the one buying tickets like going oh, if, if you go, well, I don't care what the fans think. Well, dude, then don't be upset when nobody sees your movie like on. Oh, that's like saying like on, oh, well, I'm going to cook these burgers like on, oh, but I'm going to cook them the way I want, the you know, to, to the very specifications, you know, rare, like on, oh, you know, kind of bleeding still, still mooing like on, oh, you know, and, you know, just like, so don't be upset when, you know, like there's only like three people out of 10 who are like going, oh yeah, that sounds great. Like on, oh, then the other seven people are like, mm, is there any way I can get like, like, like maybe medium, maybe medium rare, you know, so I just, everybody's got different taste. I'm just saying, so like, um, and this seems to be a big problem in, in Hollywood, and this is a pop culture thing, so it's not really like we're, we're, we're covering anything like, whoa, um, so yes, I'm going to be reacting to, uh, one of, one of the, a YouTuber that I listen to on a regular basis because he covers a lot of news and a lot of pop culture stuff, and I really like his channel, and I like a lot of his takes because he seems like a pretty down-to-earth, reasonable guy when it comes to this kind of stuff, and I agree with him. I um, My friend and I are supposed to go see the Sonic movie this weekend because I want to I wanna see it first off. It looks good, and secondly, I, I really want to support the fact that they listen to the fans because nowadays... A lot of places don't. And so I think it's highly important to, you know, to, to support that, to put your money where your, your, your mouth is like going. So I didn't necessarily complain, but some people did. So like going anyway, um, his channel is, uh, is called, called the quartering and his name is Jeremy. Great channel. I really enjoy it. I like a lot of, you know, a lot of this, the news he talks about, Big shout out to him. Big shout out to him for for covering this because this is crazy. This is this is really absurd. Um, <laughs> it's the beginning of the video, right where it starts. It looks like he's drunk, but he, you know, um, the title of his video is "Salty Birds of Prey Fans Try to Sabotage Sonic Movie," and uh, you know, like they're they're trying to to sabotage the movie, like going because they're upset because Birds of Prey did not do very well this last weekend. And I hate to say it, you know, the the marketing, the media and stuff like that really kind of over advertised Birds of Prey is this. Um, I don't like the word, but um, woke movie that um, is really pandering. And, and I've heard from the I have not seen it yet. I, I, I want to see it, uh, but I have heard that. Um, you know, it's 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 a decent movie. It's 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 solid. It's not great. It's not horrible. Um, it's a good maybe popcorn movie if you want to go spend five dollars at the matinee, which you know a lot of the movies I see anyway because I'm federal civil servant, have a rotating schedule, so I'll go on like a Wednesday, you know, nine thirty in the morning. Nobody's there but like maybe a few elderly folks, and that's the way I kind of like it now because I get to sit back. Nobody's asking me weird questions like. Who's that? Why is that happening? Anyway, my my odd movie going habits aside, let's get into this video because it is a little bit longer. So, Jeremy, take it away, buddy. Attention, viewers. Welcome to Regal Entertainment. <laughs> See, that's just fun. I like that. So it's Attention, like, viewers. Gift certificates are available. That's like we're at the movies. I can just sit back and relax. Enjoy the show. How are you not dead? I have no idea. <laughs> oh! Jeremy are from the quartering and 
This is your official reminder that the Sonic movie comes out on Friday, Valentine's Day. And if you were a part of the fan outrage over the original Sonic design, and now they've redesigned it, please remember to support this movie and go see it this weekend. You 100%. know Valentine's Day is coming 100%. up. And if there's one thing uh, your partner would I, like I don't more, think we need to 7, see his... Pick up advertisement, you know. If we want Hollywood, hey, he's got to pay the bills. I'm not knocking that. I just I don't think everybody wants to hear about um, you know, manscaping. So do with that what you will. Um, but hey, you know what? He's got he's got to pay the bills. So I don't blame him. One of these days, I might be doing the same thing. I apologize if I'm doing to all my friends and family if I'm doing stuff about manscaping because that's a little weird, but. I guess if they write the check <laughs> like, all right anyway moving on to listen to us we've got to show up yeah leave a like on this video leave a comment on this yep. video telling me your favorite sonic story get it out on twitter using the hashtag sonic movie tag me in it so i can retweet it put it on facebook i we've will I'll, I'll tag him to retweet to it show up I already have my tickets, and I'm going Friday, Valentine's Day, and I am not going to miss it. And I would be sorely sad if I didn't do the best I can to remind people to go see this movie. If anything, it's to support a yep. team that listened. Yep. Now, the early 100%. reviews from people I've been seeing have been great. But there is already a bizarre contingent of fans trying to ruin the opening of this film. That's right. Now, a Twitter user by the name of LSMark, at LSMark underscore, put together some interesting tweets. The weird thing is, I'm kind of over talking about Birds of Prey. I figured my 11 o'clock video today would be my last video. We move on to... More interesting things like Sonic and yeah, uh, VR tubers taking over uh, spicy websites and things like that. But it's actually Birds of Prey fans trying to sink the movie. Why? What? Yeah, why? Because Seriously? it's actually expected to outperform Birds of Trey. Birds of Prey. Sorry, Birds of Prey. Trey. How Birds of Prey opening went astray with $33 million opening by Anthony uh -huh. D'Alessandro. Sonic the Hedgehog could jump as high as $47 million in opening weekend by the same author. Oh, this victory. We need this victory. Get your tickets today. Post your picture of your tickets, but don't put the code on there or whatever so people can't take them. I'll retweet them. We got to get the word out because what's going on in this thread is bizarre. Here is a, a blind rights activist. I took my husband and two sons to see Sonic movie and was appalled to hear phobic slurs used throughout the movie. Luckily, Birds of Prey was showing in the next room and my family had a much better experience. What? By the way, Sonic isn't even out yet. Yeah, what the? Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. Uh... This is the kind of stuff that's so frustrating. Can't you just let us let us watch the movies and just leave it alone? Man, everybody's just got to like push their nonsense on you. If you want to have nonsense in your life, that's your life. Do with it what you will. Unless you're self-destructing yourself or you might be a danger to yourself or others. Like, oh, but just stop. It's like going, I don't go door to door pushing my nonsense on other people. Like, oh, just, okay, we're not going to, we're just going to keep going. See it. Here's another one. I was a victim, victim of a horrible crime when I was in the theater watching Sonic movie, where these white men called me a oh yeah bad right word no and what spit on me. Go see Birds of Prey. Made me feel safe to go to the movies again. How about Baylor? Since my kids walked out of a mid screening what? of Sonic movie without me, I went to go look for them and I found them in the birds of prey screening well quite frankly if your kids just walked out of the theater um while you guys were watching the movie together you're not a good parent 
they just walked out and you're like oh, oh i went to go find them and they're in another movie theater at birds of prey technically that's stealing you're like oh no we because what, what what the rest of it say what well, we ivana i went to watch sonic movie with my little brother and there were a few really ist and phobic scenes so because of that we walked out and went to see birds of prey and we loved it my brother said that we should <laughs> yeah whatever you do do not watch sonic movie how about florence i took my husband and oh that's it's like copy pasta i can't believe what they the? managed to ruin a childhood hero with sonic movie the way they port portrait the character is completely different than from what we know and love i suggest you all watch birds of prey an awesome movie with well-known characters and things done right obviously first off well-known characters no um harley quinn yes um you know but um you know really with the well-known characters unless you unless you're kind of into comics and stuff like that maybe some of the cartoons as a kid the most people aren't gonna know what it is and i think that's probably one of the big problems with the birds of prey movies because everyone's like the hell is birds of prey what is that what is that what they probably should have called it is Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey or um, I mean, just. But I mean, the, the name Birds of Prey in the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Who in the blue hell thought that was a good, good idea? <laughs> that was a good title. Who did that? It's. Like, it's eight days long. Would you want to text people that? No. Hey, Mom. You know, so-and-so, we're, 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 we're watching Birds of Prey. She's going to be like going, you're watching a documentary? No, no, we're watching Birds of Prey. It's a superhero movie. Like, about falcons and stuff and eagle? I mean, it's like, I don't know. Like I just, I feel like they could have did better. And I'm not saying this is, I mean, I, I'm you know, Part of that, it's on the studio, yes. And some of the other issues with Birds of Prey to where people resisted to it is because, you know, um, individuals were shooting their mouth off. I don't know. Just I, I feel like Birds of Prey, um, you know, uh, got a little bit of a rough end of the deal. So, um, you know, we'll, well, here we go. Interesting. You know, some of them are obvious jokes, right? Some of them are obviously jokes, but it's interesting because what will happen is, what ha happened was uh, the media will pick it up. Yeah. And that's exactly what's happening. According to VG247, it's already happening. Harley Quinn fans are battling with Sonic on Twitter because of course they are. This via Alex Donaldson. Fans of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie and DC movies Universe are going to battle on Twitter because the world is stupid, of course. If you want your daily dose, here it is. Fans of the DC comic uh, and new Harley Quinn-led Birds of Prey. It's actually called, actually, it's called Harley Quinn, colon, Birds of Prey. Uh, oh, yeah. Gone to battle with Sonic the Hedgehog oh, on Twitter, yeah. claiming that... Oh, yeah. I, I was watching one of his videos earlier today. They uh, The studio changed the movie, at least for... If you look it up on like, you know, at the at the the movie theaters like going it says Harley Quinn's calling the birds so so people I, I, they probably should have did that before opening weekend. Just you know. Sonic new new movie contains all sorts of bad things among other things. We haven't seen the movie yet, but we're going to go ahead and guess that the PG rated film isn't packed with gross and insulting stuff. Yeah, I'd imagine but the not. the Quinn fans have a vested interest in denting Sonic's chances at the box office as Birds of Prey, actually, Harley Quinn colon Birds of Prey, has made its debut as the lowest earning DC Universe movie despite all accounts Pop being boys. a pretty good time. Pop See, boys. what's going to happen is somebody's going to start picking this stuff up or bots are going to start tweeting this stuff out and you'll see more and more articles about it. So I think it's important... <laughs> That we get the message. Sorry, guys. If if you hear that, my cat's all amped up. I don't know why. I'm trying to like, try to like, get him over here and calm him down. <laughs> and then he kind of darted off again. I don't know. Maybe he'll settle down. Sorry if you hear a lot of background, you know, like crash. I don't know. He's 
it, it's whenever the camera's turned on, the cat goes nuts. I don't know what it is. Like on, I think he's like going, dude, what are you doing? Hey, you're like, I don't know. Maybe because I'm not just watching TV or something. I don't, I don't know. I can't figure it out. Every time, like I turn the camera on, it seems like he's got to be like hundred miles an hour. I said, Joe, that this is clearly an operation. A op as. Well, they're trying, Let's they're, they're trying to start an ad on me. Um, and I'm not going to be able to skip that. That's, you know what? I think I'm just going to mute it because we're not going to watch the, I'll watch that, watch the ad, but I don't want you guys to have to watch it. So here, there you go. Skip ad. There we go. Skip ad. We don't need to see none of that. I'm not monetized, so we don't need to watch that. Until I actually... Hi, buddy. Yeah. Can you calm down for me, please? You're killing me, Smalls. Might call it. The response of the DC and Harley fan base is to trash the next biggest movie coming out, and that's Sonic, in hopes that the audience will be driven away from that might give Birds of Prey a box office search. Thus, the official Sonic movie hashtag is flooded with people saying the film is about a hyperactive, super-powered hedgehog is phobic and all sorts of other things and that parents should take their kids to see the r-rated bay birds of prey instead Makes yeah it's r-rated sonic fans are now responding in kind kicking back with tweets arguing out just how wholesome sonic is which he is but all this is very silly anyways check out the hashtags if you want to lose some brain cells now if you start to see some of the early reactions according to sci-fi wire it's been awesome Months after Paramount Pictures decided to shelve Sonic the Hedgehog for a total redesign uh, of its character, Sega fans will finally get to see the movie in theaters this Friday, February 14th. Recently speaking with Digital Spy, uh, Jeff Fowler talked about his anxiety in regards to the CGI overhaul, which delayed the release by three months. I think this could be the best possible thing for the Sonic movie. I think it's been about five months had passed since the first trailer. We worked very hard on our updates of the character. It was definitely a little bit like, oh man, what happens if they don't like this, he said. But really, everyone that saw it internally as I was working on the film just responded so positively. It really felt like once we shared it with fans, they would really embrace it and be excited about it. This is such a good take, Mr. Fowler. Listening to your fandom. This is why it's so important we see this movie. All right. Go see it on a matinee if you don't want to spend full price, you know, or, or go see it, um, you know, on Mondays when I think at least the cinemas around me do them for five bucks or something like that. Um, the director's nerves completely dissipated when the second trailer hit the web November 12th, four days after the Paramount initially planned to debut the movie to the public. Luckily, overjoyed viewers ignored the setback, choosing to focus more on the update, which adhered <clears throat> to the classic and recognizable aesthetic for Sonic. Fortunately, any anxiety I had the night before passed away really quickly once it was released because, yeah, it was such an incredible feeling seeing the Sonic 2.0 get embraced the way it was. Let's take a look at some of the early reviews. Here's uh, from, I'm assuming these are insiders, you know, reviewers. Sonic movie was fun, silly, charming. It was a nostalgic treat to see Jim Carrey go 110%. 90s Jim Carrey again. Ben oh, Schwartz wow. Was perfectly cast. The new design. What? So... We're getting like old school, kind of like 90s Jim Carrey again. That's great. Like on, he was so phenomenal in the 90s. Big hit. One, You know, one of my, you know, The Mask. We're talking about Ace Ventura. Like going just such good movies. Like going uh, Fire Marshal Bob. Fire Marshal Bob that he played on SNL. I just, I, I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this movie. Um I, I'm I'm doing this too because uh, I don't I don't want this movie to be chastised before it, it has a chance to get out the gate. Like going, Birds of Prey, they they messed up. That's the bottom line. They messed up. Like going, it was it was messed up by the media getting involved. It was messed up by the studio not identifying what the movie was really about, who was in it, what was going on. Um, you know, it just they messed up. Like going, so try to fix it, but. It's it's nuts that like on these these fans are trying to bash on like on the next big movie coming out. Like why? That's just vicious. Why? 
Why is like viciousness the first thing that these people go to when they're like, oh, well, we're trying to make a point like on. OK, so your first instinct is to act like a jerk to do it. Good job. Put your hands together. Good job. Like, I, the heck is like, seriously, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. If, if you're let the work speak for itself. Put good characters out there. Put a good story out there. Make some wholesome points or whatever you're trying to make, but don't beat us over the head with it like a brick. I don't understand that. Like, on these fans are bashing a movie that has it's not even out yet. Like, go on. And look great. Sonic fans will enjoy it. Here's Gary Witta. Sonic movie was an absolute blast. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Stay through the credits. OMG literally cheered. Full review coming next week on Kind of Funny. Carly Lane Perry. I will say I went to the Sonic movie with low expectations, and it was ple I was pleasantly surprised by how much fun I had. Ben Schwartz is totally endearing as the little space hog. James Marsden brings the necessary heart, and Jim Carrey devours the scenery per usual. Tomorrow, San. Very happy to report that Sonic movie is absolutely fantastic. They pretty much nailed it, and I can't believe it. Here's Tyler. Sonic movie was so enjoyable. The movie does a great job bringing Sonic to the big screen in a fun, fast-paced adventure. Jim Carrey was also solid as Robotnik, and his banter with Sonic was perfect. Make sure you race to the theater when this comes out. I mean, this is just, this is exactly what I want. Here's a picture of somebody at the premiere. Okay, the Sonic movie is funny, action-packed, heartful, wholesome, emotional, and must-watch for fans of Sonic young and old. It's actually amazing. I'll review up soon. Just tons of insiders saying this movie is great going to be interesting to see what the actual reviews calculate to but it's so good just like i'm telling you i know this feels over the top but i'm telling you it feels so good to be listened to as a fandom i agree 100 so times movie makers have taken beloved ips and just done whatever they want with it and then they blame us for not going to see it star wars star wars star wars well more the last jedi the Force Awakens was a phenomenal, was a great movie. The Last Jedi left a whole lot to be desired. A whole lot. I'm not saying that I hate it. I'm not, I'll never say that I hate a Star Wars movie because of Star Wars and I love Star Wars. So and it's the only Star Wars movies we have. So I love them and I and but the Last Jedi is probably the worst. Def, yeah, probably the worst because. I felt like it just dumped all over the characters. And then they want to be like, oh, well, it's because the fans are jerks. Like going, no, dude, it's not because we're jerks. We showed up for The Force Awakens and most everybody enjoyed it. Like going, they tried to right the wrongs with, the, with uh, the Rise of Skywalker. And I even thought that was a pretty decent movie. It was better than The Last Jedi. They, they corrected a lot of the, they corrected a good amount of the problems. I still want to see the JJ cut because it's supposed to be like three hours and like 12 minutes long and it has a lot more backstory and explains a lot more stuff and it rectifies a lot more problems that it had. And I got to be honest, Disney as even as a shareholder, I want the JJ cut. I want to watch that. I want to see that like going, I want the JJ cut release the JJ cut hashtag release the JJ cut and leave Sonic alone. You birds of prey jerks. Come on. I mean, Birds of Prey is a perfect example. There are many other examples, too, where you have beloved franchises and you have some money-hungry producer who just takes it and expects everyone to go see it because you all love our, uh, Terminator 2, so come see Terminator Dark Fate, even though it's nothing. If you write anything. Uh, this is the only problem with trying to react to this kind of stuff. Go away. I just want to finish this video. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Hey, man's got to make man's got to make a living. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. Like going, I just I'm trying to to get his message out there because I agree 100 percent with this message. Like going, don't attack a movie that um just because don't try, don't attack a movie because you're trying to like uplift your movie. Like going because you're you think it's so wonderful. Like going, think it's wonderful. If it doesn't, it doesn't really read well to the rest of us. That's the way it is. Like going, don't so don't be a jerk. Um, 
But yeah, I think people need to turn out for this movie because your fans need to turn out for this movie um, because of what the studio did. They listened and they responded, and I think that's wonderful. Original, and in fact, spits on the grave of D2. How about BJ? Uh, says, there's a perfect balance of fan service without it feeling like a giant puddle of references. Detective Pikachu felt like an IRL anime, but Sonic movie stands or sprints on its own two feet without needing nostalgia. And for the love of God, stay for the credits. For what it's worth, the kids in our theater loved it. The girl next to me was maybe six and was acting like she was at the Ed Sullivan show reacting the Beatles every time Dr. Robotnik did anything i'm so excited i'm so excited oh, i'm very excited for the sonic movie and i really 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 hope you all show up show out especially if you took part in the initial outrage there's a two-part street two-way street they listen to us so now we've got to see the movie and from all early r reviews it looks like it's gonna be awesome so I look forward to hearing all your Sonic-related comments in the comment section down below and seeing you at Sonic the Hedgehog this weekend. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. No, oh, I thought maybe he was going to do his whole spiel. Um, you know, because obviously that's his video. This isn't my, that's not my video. Um, you know, um, I agree. Like I said, I agree 100% with him. Like, oh, and it's, it's. You know, I, I understand that. Um, I understand that some people are upset that uh, Birds of Prey is, is not doing well. Like, oh, and that can be frustrating for somebody who loves that character, or loves that franchise, or whatever. Like, oh, and just don't dump on somebody else's because you're upset. Like, be an adult, stand up, put your pants on, be big boys and girls, and move on with life. There are movies that I highly enjoy, and guess what? I never got a sequel to it, and I am thoroughly still not thrilled about that like on the uh the prince of persia movie like on i highly enjoyed that movie i love piper you gotta stop dude seriously i i thoroughly enjoyed that movie guess what never got a sequel came out like what 2008 no like two like 2000 and probably 10 I don't know. I'll have to. It's been been a long while, but I I, I own that movie on Blu-ray. I love it. It's a great movie. Um, it's just the thing was though is that um it was one of Disney's first live action you know kind of remakes and stuff like that. It took a video game franchise, and um. I thought it was a very likable movie, a very enjoyable movie. Um, it just didn't, and, and quite frankly, it um I think it actually even performed pretty decently i mean it wasn't it didn't like have massive numbers but um i think that showed that there was an interest there i mean i'll have to look it up it's been a while but uh, if i remember correctly it wasn't like stellar but it wasn't like a bomb where it just like bottomed out so um you know i think it fell a little short but uh, i mean just the bottom line is uh fans let's go see the movie let's go have a great time birds of prey fans back the heck up back up Pull your truck into the other lane, cruise down the highway, enjoy your movie, go see it again. Guess what? I saw Avengers Endgame six times. I saw Avengers Infinity War six times, all in theater. If you like a movie, show up for it. Maybe say, hey, I really enjoyed this movie. Hey, Sally, would you want to go see it with me? I know you haven't seen it yet. I would love to go see it again. That might actually make Sally go, oh, well, you would go see it again? Okay, well. That makes me think it's probably pretty good. Don't tank on somebody else's movie. Stop it. Stop it. Your parents are disappointed in you right now. Somewhere your your, your mom's going, hmm. I appreciate everybody checking out this video. Um, you know, if, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe uh, to the channel. Also, go over to the courting to see Jeremy if you liked his video because I reacted to that. I think he does a great job. He has... um. He has a good take. I, I feel like he has a good middle of the road take. He's not out there unnecessarily bashing on people. Um, and that proves it right there. Like going, he was like, hey, you know, just so, um, you know, go over to his channel, visit him. I hope everybody has a phenomenal evening. Go out, see the movie like on if, uh, you know, if you're 
big fan of it like going and i hope everybody has a phenomenal weekend and we'll definitely talk to you again real soon we'll see you guys later